Hi everyone, it's Jen. I haven't done a haul in a very long time, so I thought I'd film one. So here is my fall haul. I'll start things off really simple and slow with something like sunglasses. And I bought three pairs of sunglasses from a brand called Key. These are the first pair. These are called the Elton. And I have been loving the whole mirrored effect on sunglasses. These sunglasses remind me of Terminator 2. I think it's because they're all silver. And I think of that model T1000 when he would melt into like the floor and he'd sneak into a bunch of different cracks or something. This looks like the material he was made out of, so I think that's why I like that because that movie is awesome and these sunglasses are awesome. The next pair are the kitties and these are very appropriately named because they have a cute cat eye silhouette and I think they are really good with girls with a little bit of attitude in their system. I think they're just some funky and feminine shades which are going to be good for dull outfits that need a pop. My last pair of sunglasses are these ones called IYD and I'm not sure what it stands for but my guesses are in your dreams, if you dare, and I yacked damn it, but damn it is one word. These sunglasses also have that mirrored effect but the colors are more cool toned and so I think they're going to be really awesome to pair with winter outfits. I bought these shorts from a little boutique called Bedford Street Laundry and I have been wearing them non-stop because they are so freaking comfortable. I love the retro print but the best part of these shorts is the snapback detail on the back. So technically you can make them smaller or bigger depending on the size of your food baby. So I bought an absurd amount of things in Korea and so I thought I'd put a portion of the things that were on the side of my bed and the rest will be featured in another Korea haul vlog where I'll put like the cosmetics I bought and the rest of the accessories and some other fashion items that I got. I'm holding these pleather overalls. I bought them in a little street mart in Hongdae. I actually wore these when I went hiking while I was in Korea and it was probably one of the worst decisions I made on that trip because it was freaking hot. I looked at the temperature and it said it was going to be 75 degrees so I was like, alright, I can handle it. But I failed to check the humidity and so the end result was me sweating in these overalls. This, is, this fabric really really retains a lot of heat so they're going to be really excellent for when the temperature starts dropping. I love crop tops and I'm going to wear them in the fall by layering them. So here I have a cropped US military jacket. I got this in a store called A Land in Korea. This jacket is in a really lightweight material which is going to be excellent to wear with. Also there's a hint of camo on the collar which I think is a nice touch. My next cropped item is this cropped flannel. This one is quite oversized and boxy but I like that look and I try to give myself more shape by rolling up the sleeves. I personally got this because I love, love the pattern and the coloring of this flannel. And like the other item I just showed you, this top is going to be great to layer with. So this looks like a thrifted piece, but it's not. I actually got it in one of these little stores in Dongdaemun, which hosts like craziest shopping centers, plural, centers I've ever walked into. Anyway, I got this fuzzy blue angora sweater with all these chunks of color on it. Kind of looks like vomit, but I'm really into that. And it's also cropped and it's got a bat wing sleeve. It's just something quirky that I thought would go excellent with my sweater collection. This next jacket I bought in Hongdae and it is very very oversized because it is a men's jacket and I had to get it because when you turn it around it has a huge cat on the back dressed as Chairman Mao but instead it says Chairman Miao. I thought it was clever so I bought it. I bought this burgundy coat at a store called 8 Seconds in Korea and it is very structured, boxy and it kind of reminds me of a uniform which is why I personally love it. And I actually went to three different 8 Seconds stores before I committed on getting it. But now that I'm looking back, I'm really glad that I got it. Here's some items from Plunder. I was gifted these but I personally picked them out with my index finger and my thumb to click. I'm holding Unif's Vapor Jacket and I think this jacket is so cool and interesting and just freaking weird but I think that's why I'm obsessed with it. It's a translucent moto jacket and I thought it'd be cool to wear during rainy days, kind of like a raincoat with a twist. I love the way it looks when it's paired with all white because it just looks so fresh and clean. The next item is this button down and it's got these really fluffy feathers falling down as the print and I thought this would be really good for any family parties or events where I should probably dress a little bit more modest. It's got a 
asymmetrical hemline, so it's gonna cover that booty, but you can still show off your jeans in the front. I got some Huff socks. You've seen these on Tumblr, and now it is my turn to own these bad boys. I thought these socks were really awesome, perfect to wear on little cozy nights in. I got them in black and white because that is my color scheme at the moment. Not today, because I'm wearing my PJs still. It's been a habit of mine while filming speaking portions lately. I also got some silver accessories. I'm untangling one right now. This is a blocked necklace. It's, it kind of looks industrial, which is the reason why I was drawn to it. And next, I've got these really intense silver earrings. I love dangly earrings because they add some interesting movement on your face, or near your face, I guess. My last batch of items are from Lovely Wholesale, and these were also gifted to me, but I have picked them out myself. And I happened to pick out all things that were outerwear because it is fall, and that need, that need comes out. First, I got this cobalt blue cardigan, and this is as blue as true blue is gonna get. I think it's gonna be great to layer with a top and some shorts, and also, it's got pockets. That is all. The next cardigan I have is this brown, or this tan one, and I got this because it had these really interesting lapels on it that kind of flow and cascade down and it adds a lot more movement and makes any outfit more casual. And this one also has pockets. My next item is this black and white jacket. This one also has the fluttery lapels on it, but it's got this really sick white piping all along it and the white just really pops out from the black. I thought it was just a kind of formal piece to add to my wardrobe. I picked out this chunky black and white sweater. The arms are really fitted so you can still maintain your figure and it also has this really sick cutout detailing on the collar. And to finish off my haul I have this white lace moto jacket and it is combining two of my favorite things into one perfect item. I know this piece kind of looks more for the springtime but Pairing this outfit with cute little holiday dresses makes me excited to wear this in December and January. So that's it. That's my gigantic fall haul. If you are interested in any of these items, please check the description box because the ones that are available, I'll put a link. If you have an Instagram or a Twitter, my username is I'm Jen M. You can follow me if you wanna. So I guess that wraps things up. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!